Hi everyone. Thank you for joining in. This is Chit Chat with Dory and our co-host Lorraine will be on in just a moment. Welcome to part two of Aging, It's Only a Number. Before we get started, I just want to remind everyone to be sure to go onto our Instagram and Facebook pages and make sure you get your names in for our Father's Day draw. We just figured it out and we're up to about $750 for dad there. So make sure that you get your name in for that, okay? Uh, the Downtown Spa is donating a gentleman's pedicure plus an exfoliating mitt, a shave cream, and iPads for Dear Dad. Okay, so I see Dr. Lorraine Wilson has joined me. Hello, my special co-host. How are you today? Very well. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Um, I just realized last week we didn't give a little bit of a background on you. Would you like to tell us a bit about you before we get started? Yeah, sure. I mean, I think I just got carried away in the science and woo, off I went. Just on a roll. But everyone loved it. Awesome. Yeah. So, well, I've had sort of um, a mixed bag of experience and I started my professional career as a clinical therapist and I um, specialized in group treatment therapies. So after um, a while of doing that, then I did a 180 and I became a police officer and I worked, uh, yeah, for Peel Regional Police for the remainder of my professional career. And I worked in a lot of bureaus. I worked um, in the regional breath unit where we were arresting drunk drivers and testing them, you know, for the driving while impaired programs. Yeah. I the um, child porn unit, trying, yeah. not trying, but arresting pedophiles. Um, I worked in the Special Victims Unit, which specialized in child abuse and sex assault, the Criminal Investigation Bureau, neighborhood policing. There's a, a wide variety of um, areas that I worked in, and I really loved the job. It was fantastic. And then when I graduated, while I was working, when I graduated with my doctorate, because I was doing them both at the same time, then I moved into management, and I worked with the uh, Risk Mitigation Department because um, my doctorate's in public policy and administration with a specialist in public safety management. So awesome. how, how the heck, Arunio, did I get into, uh, you know, stress management and relaxation, relaxation therapies? Gee, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Girl, how did that happen? Yeah. So, um, in, in addition to my doctorate, I have a master's in social work and I have a master's in theological studies. And I've always, um, I guess, struggled in my life between the complexity of religion and spirituality. And religion was never um, really a good fit for me because um, I believed bigger than the confines that most religions present their parameters with. And so... Uh, my mom, she had Alzheimer's and she had it for a long time, like almost 15, 16 years. So that was um, a huge difficulty for me. And um, by the time she died, I had lost her years before and I didn't know her really. You know, there is um, a big gap there. So I ended up seeking more of... Um, spirituality and looking to you know how could I connect with her how could um, is she okay you know that kind of stuff mm -hmm. so I ended up going to a medium and um, during that process I had said you know I really wish that I was more directly connected and so I was told that I had been gifted with um, you know uh, as a medium and that I needed to develop that, you know, skill and intuition because as I had been helped, you know, in this area of my life so I could help other people. So that's how, that's how that got started. And so for me, it's a wonderful blend of kind of my life path, you know, the difficulties that I've had in my life, um, but the connection, you know, to spirituality and to therapy and to counseling 
and um, and just the the raw reality of of what police see, you know, to know that people really do um, have horrendous experiences that they go through, um, you know, regardless of whether the role is law enforcement or social work or whatever, right? It's still people are struggling in their lives. Mm -hmm. So um, I find that it's a blend, right? Like, like therapy is really important and it's good for many people where they are. And for other people, um, maybe something not that intensive. Maybe they just need a little um, direction or support or validation or guidance. And I find that the tarot uh, spirits connection through the tarot for those is just awesome. So that's kind of how I got rolled into this bundle of me. <laughs> and here you are at the spa now. Yay! Yay! Yeah. A little bit more relaxing for you. Well, I think it's a great fit. I do. Absolutely. Absolutely. Relaxation, spa, hand in hand. Yeah. Helping women, men feel their best, look their best. It's right. all rolled up into one. Absolutely. So we, oh, mm -hmm. well, so I, I, I was just saying like, we do have um, a few questions, you know, that people have given us and stuff that we can talk about today, but do you want to just, I think maybe if you just talk a little bit about what you do, um, then I can kind of fill in in terms of if you don't address anything like is that sure. Good? Okay. sure so um, Well, obviously I have owned the downtown spa for 30 years. I have seen many treatments products go by the wayside stick There have been just like anything else. There's trends that go on but um, all in all I would have to say that the longevity of treatments such as microneedling, um, energy therapy, those types of treatments, to me anyway, have lasted and they are true. They are backed by science and they work. Now, I chose to go the holistic route. I know that there's many other medical treatments and different avenues that, that can be taken. Uh, my choice was holistic therapies and products. Um, when I moved to this location, I really uh, sought out having holistic treatments, therapies, and products, and have continued with that as these years have come forward. And I want to continue into the wellness. Beauty from the inside out, I've always said it, and now I really want to direct my time and my energy to do that. So I have been asked many times on, um, you know, what do I do? What do, what products do I use? Um, I can tell you that my routine has been the same for, for years. I start my day with warm lemon water that triggers the liver so that you can start detoxifying your body. And we know that when we detoxify the body, we rid our waste through the bladder and our skin. So if you're having some honey along with that, you are encouraging the skin as well. I do take nutritionals for the skin as well. I have my uh, powdered collagen. I take a hyaluronic acid supplement, more so for my joints, but hey, if it's gonna offset some of my uh, anti-aging, then it's, that's a double do, I'll take it. Um, recently, I did have a hair analysis done with uh, May Rodriguez, who is gonna oh. join us next week. Yeah. Yeah, so um, she enlightened me a little bit on uh, some nutrients, uh, mainly minerals that I was lacking. And uh, this kind of goes along with the aging process. So it was just uh, nice to uh, get a new handle on that to see what my body was lacking. So now I'm into more minerals, calcium, magnesium, that type of thing. Um, as far, yes, yeah, sorry. I just had a quick question. So when you have this lemon water, does it have to be lemon? Like, is it something about lemon or could it be lime or? No, it has to be lemon and it has to be a lemon not lemon juice from the bottle, oh. okay? Now everyone thinks that, oh, I can't have lemons because it's too much acid in my system, I'm gonna break out or whatever, but actually lemons change into a neutral once absorbed into the body, so they're not acidic. 
So you do a lemon a day? I have a half a lemon in the morning. Okay. Morning is the best time to have that lemon water before anything else in your body. Right? I'm still on the coffee. I, I have to have at least one coffee. And in all honesty, I put my collagen powder in my coffee. Tastes great anyway. <laughs> Along with antioxidants, you know, you, you've got to have your, your blueberries, your berries. You need antioxidants in the body. Antioxidants on the skin and in the body work the best. Um, so as far as um, my routine of what I do, I think we had some questions along that for uh, my skincare routine. Yep. I, I walk my walk. I use what I offer, what we retail. In the long run, um, again, I have chosen natural products. In the spa, we use my uh, exclusive line in our facials. I do retail that line along with the Monate line as well. And there's one a serum on there. The uh, retinol uh, lotion is awesome. Everybody needs to have one of those. So in the morning, I don't rewash my face. I rinse it off with warm water, followed by my toner, my serums. I alternate between a hyaluronic acid serum and a vitamin C serum. I alternate the two. Always an eye cream, a moisturizer, sunscreen, and a lip treatment. When I use my eye cream, I always end it with my lips as well. So I use my eye cream for my lips too. Um, people need to realize they have to go from the top of their hairline right to down here. Do not miss your neck. You still need to exfoliate and hydrate your neck. And don't forget those lips. We don't want those lines, you know? So. <laughs> That <laughs> sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. I mean, I just can't say enough about it. If you want to prevent the age spots, if you want to prevent premature wrinkling, you've got to wear sunscreen every day, every season. It doesn't matter if the sun's not out, even. You need the sunscreen. I know I started wearing uh, sunscreen every day, I guess, when I was about 30. But do the neck, <laughs> and now that I'm in my 50s, I'm like, I wish I had done the neck. <laughs> and here's a, yeah, exactly. And here's another little tip. Whenever I've got leftover product on my hands from using it on my face, I always do the tops of my hands. I don't wipe my hands off. I use that product to go on top of my hands, right? Serums, oils, moisturizers, you name it, does not get wasted on top of the hands. The neck and the hands is what will give away your age, I think. Right? Great. Yeah. So in the evening, you need to be sure that your face is thoroughly cleansed. So that's when you're going to use either a makeup remover first, or you end up having to wash your face twice, depending upon what skin type you are, you know, a gentle cleanser, and a scrub usually twice a week is good. And if you can pick up a scrub that you can use as a mask, that's wonderful too, because then you've got the one product, two uses. Uh, the, the Monate one is very good and you can use that as a mask as well. And following that, you've got your serums and I'm really high on face oil for the evening especially. Um, it's very hydrating. When we've got the air from your heat or your air conditioner just blowing on your face all night, it's just taking away your moisture. It's taking away everything off of your skin. So if you've got the oil on, you're protecting your skin. Then you seal in the oil with your moisturizer and still you've got your eye cream and your lip conditioner as well. Sorry? Um, no, I was just saying I have that oil for the evening from you. Yes. Um, smells great and it really works like I love it yeah thank you thank you it's it's our go-to here it's very popular something that, that we available always is that your signature scent or blend or something like that it's got anti-aging aromatherapy oils in it and it's mixed with uh, grapeseed oil as the carrier oil grapeseed is is highly um, 
rated for skin, especially face. Yeah, I like it. It's good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. So lip conditioner, you got to have it. it. When you try my lip conditioner, my lip balm, you won't use anything else. People are hooked on it. I have one in every room in my house. I have one in my purse. I have one in my car. That's a, a go-to as well. You can use it on its own as just like a lip chat. You can use it under lipstick or a lip gloss. So that's that's got to be a, a given in any anybody's purse for sure. Oh, I got another thing for you. Too much, <laughs> but um, both my husband and I use your lip stuff. Yes. Yeah, it's, that it's, is the number one reason I changed the label because more men are starting to use that lip chat and you know I, I'm all about pink flowers and <laughs> that's just me so I had to change it and uh, I find more men will have that in their pocket now it's all good yeah <laughs> <It does. laughs> yeah so I also was asked, what spa treatments can I not live without? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? So here they are. Definitely my eyebrows and my eyelashes have to be tinted. That is a given. I, well, I have been known to tint my own lashes. Okay. And yes, I do end up with stuff in my eyeballs. And don't anyone else try that? but I need to have my lashes tinted, my brows tinted, okay? I obviously use my phototherapy treatments for um, the sun, the anti-aging, um, the phototherapy light, sun damage. I do have a little bit on my forehead. I will admit if I could change anything from my spirit years of, you know, 32, 35 in there. Laying out in the sun for eight hours, ladies, is not the thing to do. But I did. But the phototherapy light, the plasma light is uh, awesome for bringing back your collagen. And uh, it's great to help with the sunspots as well. I use my CKEX because we're dealing with anti-aging at a cellular level. The UV phototherapy, vitamin D, is actually a preventative maintenance for the skin, internally and topically. So those three things I do not go without, definitely not. So um, I'm just a little bit aware of our time here, Dory. Yep. Um, is there anything that, uh, before we go into you know winding down mode that you think would be the we might we might even have to do another one on this because this is such a big topic and there's I so think much. so I think but, so. but for today is there anything that you'd like to um maybe wrap up with before we segue into our our draw and our tarot and all that fun stuff oh sure um i would say that prevent as much as you can as soon as you ladies hit your mid to late 20s, your collagen production starts to slow down even that early. Mm -hmm. So doing any of the energy treatments that are repairing your cells, that I would definitely start then and no later. Your go-to should be your sunscreen every day, every season. Four facials per year is all that's necessary. When the seasons change, that's most important. Take a look at your skincare products. You may have to switch them up seasonally as well. And um, yeah, it's never too soon to start and it's never too late to start. Mm -hmm. That's a point for sure. Yeah prevent, maintain, and then you won't have to worry about too much time and money on reversing. Skin care, beautiful skin. Yes, you've got some of traits, some of your uh, heritage that, you know, maybe they've been known, oh, they've got good skin. Well, that's all great, fine and dandy, but it is a commitment and it is an investment. One that I'm willing to um, skimp on the grocery money for. Absolutely. 
The other thing is my hair. I mean, I've been known, you know, people see me and they go, oh, I seen your hair walk by. I knew it was you. Something that I have changed in the last year and a half are my hair products. And there's no way I will turn to anything else other than the Monate line. Mm -hmm. I love it. It has turned my hair um, from, you know, hard to deal with, frizzy and, and unmanageable to controlling. And it feels fantastic. It certainly doesn't feel like 62 year old hair. Actually, somebody asked me the other day how old I was and I lied. I said I was 61. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> but actually, 63 is on the horizon. And you know what I realized is the 24th, we're on that day. So we're going to have to have me a birthday party right online. Everyone yeah. knows what happens on my birthday. I start with champagne and OJ as yeah. soon as possible. And <laughs> a humongous fruit platter. That's my day. I love it. <laughs> well... I'm sure we yeah. can. I'm thinking that we had so many other questions to um, to get through that haven't been answered. So maybe uh, we can do a few questions next week. We'll still have May on with us, um, integrative uh, holistic nutritionist, and um, the two tie in anyway: the skin and the uh, internals. You know the the nutrients. Uh, so I think we can cover off a few more questions next week for sure. So sorry if we didn't get right to your question this week, but we'll get to it next week. And if people want to ask a question, they can email you or Instagram, direct message you or Facebook you or whatever they Absolutely. want. Absolutely. Absolutely. More than happy to help. More than happy to help. Something that we uh, didn't really get into was the micro needling. Something mm -hmm. that I wonder 100% believe in as well. Again, science backed. What happens is the, um, the needles go into the skin. It's just like a, a little roller and your skin thinks that it's been damaged. So it sends up the collagen naturally. Now you won't see the um, improvement for about six to eight weeks because that's how long it takes. But this is a definite, definite uh, treatment that you should have. The only problem with it is it's a little painful and um, annoying. But I do have the home rollers, and the home rollers are fantastic for getting your products that you invest in to get beneath the top layer of the skin. So it's almost like aerating your grass, you know, you make those little punctures, and then you put your serum on, and boom, it's readily absorbed. And that is what our draw today is going to be for, is one of our home rollers. Oh, that's so everybody that's on with us today has a chance to win this. Erica's just getting everybody's names going on here. And um, I'll just press a little button. You can just read to me who it is there. Who have we got? The account is LB Butterflies. LB Butterflies is the winner. So you can contact me and we'll make arrangements for you to pop in and pick it up. I'll spend a little time with you um, so that you know how to use it and when to use it. Two to three times a week is all you need just before you put your serum on. Perfect. Okie dokie. Okay. okay. That's fantastic. Everyone yeah. should have one of these. The other thing that we didn't talk about, but people are going to receive an email tomorrow. I like to do a little follow up with all of our sessions. Um, we didn't touch base with the Gua Sha, which I have my professional one that will be incorporated into the phototherapy facial that we'll be coming out with as soon as we can do facials. So you're going to receive a video on this on how to use one for home use and the uh, yoga facial exercises. Because we don't exercise our face too much, we think about exercising our body. So we've got to stimulate these muscles so that they hold up the skin. Just kind of makes sense, right? We just had a question here. Um, how much is the roller? The ones that I have in stock are 65, okay? I have not ordered since the lockdown. But trust you me, I have noticed the things that I have ordered 
have gone up. So I don't want to promise that they're 65, but I do have a number of them in stock. So they are 65. So that's good. So if people um, get them as many as you have in stock, then they get the pre lockdown price. Absolutely. Awesome. That's a good way of putting that because I'm sure I'm going to be saying that quite a bit. Well, I mean, I get it. I get it. I have to take advantage of that. Um, and so Karen McBride says that she would like to get one. Okay, my darling, I will set one aside for you. So we got to use it just before you put your vitamin C serum on. Good. Perfect. Okay. All right. So at least we have one tucked away for Karen. Yes. One is tucked away for Karen. Absolutely. Don't tell Bill, Karen. <laughs> Our secret. <laughs> with a younger woman. Yeah, that's right. That's right. All right, are you ready to do our um, tarot reading? Yeah. Insight. Yeah, it's, it's a, a bit of an insight. So what we're doing for to chat with Dory is at the end of every um, conversation that we have together, I will pull a card and it'll be the intent of drawing the card is a message for our to chat with Dory viewers for the week. All right, so let me just pick it here. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in here. It's the justice card. Okay. All right, so what the justice card represents is <laughs> um, you reap what you sow, harm is a bitch. <laughs> um, if you have um, if you're living a life with integrity, um, there's always going to be consequences for your actions. So it doesn't mean everything always works out for you, but it sure is a whole a lot easier if you're acting in good faith and with integrity. But if you're not, there's also um, an element of compassion with the justice card so that, you know, if you're the person that recognizes that, you know, I shouldn't have done that or that wasn't with the best integrity, that there is an element of compassion so that you don't necessarily get exactly what you deserve, but you might get a consequence because there is some sort of um, recognition for um, being accountable, right? And, and taking responsibility for, for those actions in your life. So that's what the justice card stands for. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for that. Before we sign off, I just want to remind everyone, the last Thursday of the month is our beauty box draw. So Ooh. make sure that you read your emails, answer your questions, and your name goes into the draw. So we're going to have a busy, is the 24th the last Thursday of the month? Oh, we're going to be so busy on the 24th. That's your birthday. Exactly. It's going to be a great day in the neighborhood. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining in. We appreciate you. We're very grateful that you uh, signed in. And thank you, my uh, dear friend, Dr. Lorraine. Okay. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Later. Bye-bye.